Vegas, man, Vegas. It's all about gambling, assessing risk, right? If you're the casino. If you're the casino, you're assessing the risk, right? If you're the gambler, you ain't. You're just you're just shooting out blind with a hope and a prayer, right? Like my favorite game, I like roulette. I like roulette a lot. I think that's my favorite game. And the cool thing is, like, if you're doing roulette, you could assess the risk, the risk you're going to win or lose, right? I think it's like if you bet on red, right, you're going to get like a 48% chance of winning somewhere in there, right? If you bet on black, you get like a 48% chance of winning, something like that, right? They're not – uh, 50-50 though, right? Because the only one who gets that advantage is the house, right? Because they get the zero and the double zero, right? So that's what Vegas is about. Today we're working with two investors from Vegas, right? Do you guys want to go into this, be in the house with some knowledge? Or do you just want to shoot blind? That That's what we're talking about. That's what we're doing. That's why you guys are here, man. Let's get into that. Let's talk about some Cleveland real estate for Vegas investors. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, today, boy, we are working with my Vegas dudes, right? We got Brennan and Allen. Both run in car dealerships, right? So I'm pretty sure to get to the top of the car dealership game, you guys are probably some alpha motherfuckers. I like that. I love fucking that just like alpha raw sales mentality, right? Like uh, what's his uh, that movie with uh, uh, Jeremy Piven? Uh, Don Reddy, right? Don Reddy, the, where he's the car sales. God damn, that movie's awesome, right? You guys should check it out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I guarantee you, Brendan and Alan know what I'm talking about. If they're freaking car dealers, they probably have that shit on their phone. They probably watch it every day. God damn, I love that movie. But anyway, what you guys are doing with all that car dealer money is you're investing it in Cleveland. And as I was alluding to uh, in the top of the show, right? We want to get you in there with the information, right? We want you guys to be the house, right? I don't want you guys playing roulette, right, with the 48% chance of victory or whatever it is, right? I want you to have that little advantage, right? And you assess that risk, and you realize that's important, too. That's why you guys hired me, right? You know that I know the Cleveland market, and you'll never be able to know the Cleveland market like I do because you're in Vegas. You guys know a lot about renting car dealerships in Vegas, right? And you're smart enough to know aces in their places right this is our value we do this as the daytime and then our side business our sales or our, our property management business in cleveland we need to get somebody on the ground who handles that every day that's what i do right 200 million dollars of rental property sales in the cleveland area okay largest property management portfolio of its kind right we do this all day every day and my goal is to give you guys all the information i possibly can on these deals uh, both as a property, a physical structure, but also as a money-making machine or sometimes a money-losing machine, right? I, I, I analyze deals people sent to me, like, hey, this is a good deal, and I give you my take on it, right? And today, guys, what I did is I got a property. It's a duplex. I think it's going to be perfect for the portfolio you two are trying to uh, build based on all the things you've told me about what you want to accomplish, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'm going to jump in head first into the details of exactly how to structure the deal, what I like about the deal, the pros, the cons, give you just the most clear look at this property uh, that I think you could ever get. I don't think you can get this type of in-depth, on-the-ground knowledge that's going to give you an advantage in the marketplace without somebody like me. So, folks, if you're not Brendan Allen, you want to work with me to do the same, hit my team up, give us your number, we'll call you, set you up on your own set of videos like this because this ain't real time. I sent this to these dudes uh, privately a couple months ago, right? So if you're watching this on Holton Wise TV at home in your friggin' underwear, uh, this property's not available. You gotta, you gotta pay to play in real time with us, folks. Uh, so why don't you guys all hit those links, get on the uh, phone with my team, and Brandon Allen, why don't you two dudes uh, just uh, put some pants on during this commercial break, and then we'll get into it. <laughs> Please. I think it's too big. No, 
I think it'll shrink in the water. Welcome back. Let's jump into the deal. I love uh, this deal quite a bit, okay? 210 14th Street, Illyria, 44035. Been on the market seven days, priced at 89K. Now, I love Illyria, dude. Oh, my God, do I love Illyria, right? Here's the cool thing about Illyria. This is why I really love it. On a national stage, people are like, looking at the Cleveland market, right? Investors all over the place. Like, there's always articles or this or that about Cleveland's a great uh, cash flow market. If you want to get cash flow properties, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. It, it pops up everywhere, right? You know, you do something like, what are the best cash flow markets in the United States? Cleveland's always in the top 10, right? Sometimes it's even uh, listed as number one on a lot of those publications, right? What's cool about all that is that it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. It beats into everybody out there's head that, all the Cleveland area is is the city of Cleveland. Not the case, right? The city of Cleveland's got like 350,000 people in there, right? The greater area, several million, okay? So there's a lot of suburbs in and around that area that are not getting a lot of attention. Illyria is one of them. I think it's a nice little sleepy suburb. It's like 40 minutes uh, west of the city of Cleveland. And uh, for those of you that are looking for some type of comparison here, right, where LeBron is from, Akron, right? Everybody says LeBron's from Cleveland, LeBron's from Cleveland, LeBron's from Cleveland. LeBron's not from Cleveland. LeBron's from Akron. Uh, that's south, south of Cleveland, about the same distance, right? So it's in the general area, right? We service Elyria. We have tons of properties in Elyria, right? But it's off the radar, which is great because it allows us, in my opinion, to pick up deals we couldn't have otherwise got if they were in Cleveland. This property would not have remained on the market for seven days if it was in Cleveland, folks. 89000 This thing's awesome. It's a side-by-side -side duplex. Side-by-side -side duplexes are, in fact, the best friggin' duplexes. Now, it's fully occupied with long-term tenants, so do not expect... Uh, this thing to be like spick and span, beautiful, looking fresh, looking clean. The real estate agent for the seller only provided one photo because, guys, it's really friggin' tough to go through tenants' houses and take pictures. They don't, like, want to deal with all you fucking assholes, like, interrupting their life. But it don't really matter. Some people think that's a red flag. It's not. There ain't nothing special you're going to see in there, folks. I'm going to tell you this right now. I already know what it looks like. It looks like it needs a turnover when these tenants move out. They're long-term tenants, folks. You do not get to buy $90,000 duplexes in the Cleveland market with long-term tenants, and then when they move out, you just sweep it up and it's ready to rent for the next tenant. That don't fucking happen. If that's your expectation, it's wrong. You're going to need to refresh the unit. Paint! Uh, if they got carpet, we're replacing it. I like to replace it with vinyl or hardwood so you mitigate that cost in the future. You don't have to deal with that again, right? Uh, we may need to do Home Depot, Lowe's quality uh, kitchen cabinets, bath fixtures, right? So we might be looking at like five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars per unit when these folks eventually move out, right? These folks have been there for quite a long time, and it already cash flows where they're at, seven fifty and six hundred. But market rent sits it's side by side, which is the premium layout, folks. That's eight hundred a unit, sixteen hundred a month, or nineteen thousand two hundred a year, right? They have it listed at 89. We need to pay 89, okay? I assume there's eventually going to be multiple offers on this. Yes, it's still on the market today because it's got an Illyria address as opposed to a Cleveland address and it's getting less national traction. But look, a lot of people will understand this is going to make money because this thing's a fucking cash cow. So be prepared to pay 89 or more, right? 16 hundo, long term market rents. After you run your fixed and variable expense estimates with Holton Wise handling everything on the ground for you, you're looking at an NOI of about 709. Uh, for the month, on average, 85 for the year on average. Some years will be better, some will be worse, right? As you see, we got capital expenditures. I'm, I'm saving up 960 every year for you, right? That's for things like roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks, none of which are anticipated to be new. This is not a scenario where we get on our contract for like 90 grand, and then we get the inspection report back, and you're like, oh, my God! The roof is like 20 years old. How much is the roof? And I go, oh, well, this roof would probably be like seven grand to replace. You go, oh, my God, ask the seller for seven grand off. No, motherfucker, it's not. No, look, this house is worth every bit of 89 or more in its current condition with long-term tenants playing below market rent with units that are dated, and there is no expectation of there being 
a new roof, a new furnace, or a new hot water tank. I factored that type of stuff in to your analysis here, folks. Capital expenditures, right? 960 a year. You don't do a roof every year, obviously. You do a roof once every 30 years. Costs about uh, seven grand. Hot water tanks. You're usually going to be replacing those bad boys every 15 years. Costs about a G right now. Furnaces cost about three G's. You're usually doing those about every three years. None of these mechanicals are brand new, folks. They're all currently working. Why would the seller replace them? If you got a furnace, it's probably going to work for another five years. Why the fuck would you replace it? You wouldn't, right? So the property's going to be worth that. Those are the proper expectations. The thing's still going to kick off a ton of money, right? Who's to say we actually have to kick these tenants out to get them up to market? If we slowly get them up to market, right, slowly bring them up, we wouldn't have to have a turnover, and then we'd be looking at a friggin' 23.1% cash on cash return, right? Only 22250 out of your pocket. This is a solid investment. As far as Illyria goes as compared to Cleveland, I've already mentioned that nationally people aren't paying attention to it enough. In my opinion, uh, Illyria, it's like a high C. Maybe I might even consider it like a B neighborhood, dude. I believe personally uh, that the tenant base in Illyria – is a little uh, more easygoing to work with. I feel like we're doing better with our Elyria tenant base than a lot of the west side neighborhoods in Cleveland we deal with, right? Uh, crime appears to be lower, and, like, I just feel like overall uh, we're doing very well. Like, if you give me, uh, you know, the Cleveland, west side of Cleveland, Elyria, I, I enjoy investing in both of them, but right now I believe Elyria is probably uh, the better play that a lot of people don't know about. Additionally, the government, uh, much easier to deal with, right? Like, this is a Cleveland market, folks. There's a lot of different cities out here, right? Cleveland, East Cleveland, Cleveland Heights, right? A lot of people think those three are the same. They're not. That's three completely different cities. Then we got O'Leary, we got Luray, we got Lakewood, Rocky River, Garfield Heights, Bedford Heights, Newburgh Heights, Parma Heights, Parma, uh, Brook Park, right? All these areas in the greater Cleveland area, every single one of them has a different government, different rules, different procedures, right? That's why you hire Holton Wise, because we can navigate all that. But what I'm telling you right now is I am really big on Illyria. And the other thing, too, didn't stress this enough. I'm really big on the fact that this is a side-by-side -side duplex. Uh, a, you get more rent. But B, what you do is, and it's more important than the additional rent. Like, if this is an up-down, I would say the market rent is about 750 right? We squeeze an extra 50 bones. Uh, because it's the up-down layout or the side-by-side -side layout versus the up-down layout. We squeeze out an extra 50 bones per unit there, right? But that 100 bucks a month, 1200 a year, that's not what I love about it. What I love about it is it reduces turnover. You get long-term tenants, right? Because uh, it's not as much uh, sound annoyance, right? Nobody's above you, nobody's below you, right? That kind of stuff causes tenants to fight. When tenants fight, they become unhappy. When they're unhappy, guess what? One of them usually moves out, right? So that becomes a problem. And the majority of duplexes in the entire Cleveland the market, all the cities I just mentioned, most of them, I would say like 95% are built with the up-down layout. So whenever you get the opportunity to pick up a side-by-side -side property, absolutely do it. So in my opinion, uh, there's no such thing as a can't-lose deal, uh, but this is very much as close to that as I think you can possibly get in the Cleveland market. For your money right now, this duplex is a friggin' banger. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.